Nityanandam, such a beautiful face that Bhagwan has given us to experience the feeling connection with Bhagwan. Such an intense satsang with that beautiful space of feeling connection with Bhagwan. Let's start the power manifestation today. First, let's understand what is power manifestation. Power manifestation is nothing but a cognitive shift which can infuse powerfulness into any action or state that we are in. It raises the frequency of our body and mind to the ultimate powerfulness, Turiya Tita. We understand from this world that we have the waking state, dream state and deep sleep state. But we forget our original state of consciousness, which is the Turiya Tita, completely life positive and powerful state. That is the space Bhagwan wants us to raise and that can be only experienced by you manifesting reality, not by understanding, not by seeing it or uh, start experiencing, but you manifesting it. Just the experience is only giving us a clue, like a glimpse of a, like if you go to a food taster, you just taste the food. But if you start manifesting as your reality, connecting to Bhagwan again and again, then you are really living in the space of Turiya Atita. Not just a glimpse, but you are in the powerful space of oneness with Bhagwan. And that can be done through power manifestation, Bhagwan says he will be not known as just a sannyasi, Raja Sanyasi, but he will be known for the power manifestation that he is giving to the world to raise the world to the new dimension of Turiya Tita. And Parameshiva, who has come down as Bhagwan himself, understanding Parameshiva, he is the living being and his five faces. Satyojata, Vamadeva, Agora, Tatpurusha, and Ishana, who are doing the Panchakritya manifestation, sustenance, regeneration, putting us in delusion and pulling us out of delusion, and Anugraha, liberating. Constantly, the Big Bang and Black Hole is constantly happening as an existential reality in us. Bhagwan himself has come down to make us experience that. His Divine Holiness, Nityanda Parameshwam, is a reviver of Kailasha, the ancient enlightened civilization, the great cosmic borderless Hindu nation. His Divine Holiness, Nityananda Parameshwam, is an avatar from Hinduism and a supreme pontiff of Hinduism. His Divine Holiness, Nityananda Parameshwam, had made the science of power manifestation, yoga, temple-based university, user-friendly for the modern world. He has survived the worst prosecution in multi-level by Hindu, anti-Hindu elements. And Kailasha led by His Divine Holiness, Nityananda Parameshivam and his diasporas are working 24 by 7, 365 days for the global peace. His Divine Holiness, Nityananda Parameshivam is a founder of Hindu, Nityananda Hindu University, which has extended campus in 150 countries. And he's 293rd Guru Maha Samidhanam of Shamla Pita Sarvanya Pita, Swargapura Adinam and present Maharaj of Suryavamsa Surangi Samrajyam. Bhagwan has come down to planet Earth to play the Leela and liberate all the souls into super consciousness, living as the gods and goddesses, and by giving us the science of our manifestation, which is authentic, time tested, scientific, and foolproof. Shastra Pramanas are the eternal, unchangeable truth from Veda Agamas, revealed in the Hindu source scriptures, the Aptas 
are the rishis, munis, ganas, nayanamars, alvars, the authorities of Hinduism. The apta pramanas are the Vedic rishis and scientists who have time tested and verified the science of our manifestation. Atma pramana. Atma pramanas are the avatars who land on planet Earth for raising the humanity to new consciousness. After millions of years, Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashivam, His Divine Holiness Nityananda Paramashivam, this millennium avatar has landed and his leelas, his personal experience of each power manifestation is the inspiration for humanity to raise themselves to superconscious being in human body. Shakshi Pramanas are the millions of devotees, disciples, followers initiated by Bhagavan himself. Today, Bhagavan has given the beautiful Shastra Pramana from Shiva Sutra. Bhagavan has spoken on Bhagavad Gita Upanishad in selective way, but Shiva Sutra, he has not missed even one word and so deeply he has given us so strongly for us to understand and raise ourselves because he says each Shiva Sutra itself is a religion. Such profound and clarity and depth in each of the Sutra that Sadashiva Paramashiva himself has given to the humanity. Here he says in this Shiva Sutra 1.19 Shakti Sandhane Shariro Patihi which is a, by aiming and fixing the self on Shakti, uniting in oneness with the supreme power, the embodiment of that which is cognized, will and once is manifested in length, breadth, depth, time and space. So beautiful, Bhagwan has explained past one hour how beautiful the space of feeling connection can raise us above the delusion. How he said 1400 hours of hate speech on me and they just want me to be deluded and fighting with them. By the time I finish fighting, whether winning or losing, I lost my time of my prime time of my life. That is exactly how humanity is just deluded by the outer world, which is money, job, family, relationship, all the delusion, which is pulling them again and again to the, again, struggle and misery and death. Here Bhagwan says, bring your awareness to the highest reality that you are Paramashiva, which is the reality, and pull yourself out of delusion and start manifesting life as reality. Here by fixing and having the Dhrida Buddhi, constant strength that Paramashiva is real. I am Paramashiva. I manifest my life as Paramashiva by aiming and fixing the self on Shakti. If we are very clear how Prahlada lived constantly, even though he was son of a king who never believed he was an atheist, how Bhagwan said the atheists are doing all the troll and literally removing Hinduism, which is not possible. But the same thing was done to Prahlada by Prahlada's father, who said there is no God and locked up the temples. And to him, a son who was completely soaked in oneness with Krishna, Vishnu, was born. And he's kept on saying everything is Vishnu. And he saw Vishnu in everything by aiming and fixing the self on Shakti. Like Prahlada, who was like a five-year-old boy, who was able to fix and decide that Paramashiva is real and I am Paramashiva, I am Swamiji, I am Nityananda. That's the only thing which is reality, raising only from that space and uniting in oneness. Again and again, bringing the feeling connection, Shaktipada, that entanglement, quantum entanglement, which happens when you surrender completely at Bhagavan's lotus feet. Again and again, Whenever the thought, whenever the doubt, whenever the confusion raises, again and again, hold on to the space of oneness. How when we watch the screen now, we are seeing all the things which are going on the screen, but the screen is not touched by anything. Same way, our inner space, the Paramashiva space in us is not touched by anything. It is who we are. It is not what we experience. It is the ultimate space that we are, the Paramashiva space, we came down to planet earth in this human body to experience that one space of us. But coming here and forgetting and they're getting deluded again and again, 
in other delusion problems struggles bhagwan is initiating us and again and again pulling us out and making us sure that manifesting these powers will give you the glimpse that you are that space the embodiment of that is which is cognized it cannot be the sugar can be tasted but being a sugar you can only become a sugar and experience what is sugar or being a tree you can only experience when you become a tree what is the experience of tree or you can just see a tree and get the breeze or get the fruit from the tree and only experience that same way being in the oneness with parameshiva understanding you are parameshiva is what you need to cognize how would swamiji think how would swamiji speak how would swamiji do actions in what context he would work with everything again and again getting soaked with that getting soaked with how parameshiva would lead his life i would be like that bhagwan beautifully says when his guru did not have dream he said my guru does not have dream i don't have to have dream my guru does not sleep i don't have to sleep when he lived like that after some time even in his dream he was saying that no i cannot dream i cannot sleep and he brought himself into the ultimate consciousness space be doing that again and again becoming that who we are completely transforming bhagwan how beautifully he said evolving the whole being into the space of consciousness is what he has come here for into super conscious being that is what is our future in 20 years from now all the god and goddesses will be on planet earth manifesting huge powers now we are getting a glimpse of it when we cognize as our reality so intensely feeling connection with bhagwan we can manifest anything at once it says will to manifest at once declare yourself completely surrender to bhagwan your ego your arrogance simply you will see the whole shakti pada happen and constantly you experiencing the higher reality all that which is outer world is only delusion no point in adding or fighting or struggling or giving up it is only the oneness with parameshiva which raises us into ultimate reality today we are going to see the power manifestation of materialization let's go to the apta pramanas apta pramana bhagwan has spoken profound on pusalar nayanar all the nayanamars are greatest sarvaparit tyagis where they are ready to do any level tyaga because they know the outer world is only a delusion they are actually not giving up anything other than the delusion here pusala nayanar beautifully bhagwan describes starts building a temple in his heart in his depth uh, again and again he goes to his home every day and starts looking at the agama manual and literally sculpting in his heart the whole temple for hidare hridayeshwar and bhagwan also was seeing the king build the temple in the physical world when the king called bhagwan parameshiva to come and inaugurate consecrate consecrate the temple by the beautiful space of pusala nanar was attracting parameshiva more so parameshiva told the king that he has one more temple to go and inaugurate and he did not go to king's temple so the king was so shocked who else could be building the temple in my kingdom and he went and understood this pusala nayanar one simple man who was sitting and building the temple with such intensity depth in his depth the temple parameshiva goes and the story goes he removes the temple from his heart from the depth and really places it on the land and the temple is still there for us to see and there is no sculpting mark on the temple because it was built in the heart it was so smooth the walls of the temples the pillars of the temples so beautiful he could manifest a temple we have seen that uh, the great rishis munis were able to even create a loka for sikandu when he was asking for um, 
a loka that he wants to go in physical body, the rishis were able to create even a loka. We have seen such manifestation, materialization to the core could happen. They were able to create loka, they were able to create temple, not just materialized small things. The ultimate possibility is there when you have the ultimate feeling connection. The Atma Pramana, Bhagavan himself, have materialized beautiful deity of Lord Lakshmi for Sri Bhairavananda, which Aya has put in his visiting card and for Bhagavan's blessing in all his business dealing. This is a sample deity. He has materialized when he was a kid for this great soul, Sri Bhairavananda, and he has this Lakshmi deity with him. Such a beautiful experience that so many have experienced. When Bhagwan says all your temple will have the kumkum and vibhuti and so many people have experienced in so many temples that they are taking care of seeing the deity the, have the vibhuti, kumkum and even honey flow for weeks and months. Such beautiful experience Across the world, the devotees have experienced when Bhagwan blessed them. Here we have tons of Shakshi Pramanas, and this is from one of the Balasans who metalized the pearl and silver in his hand. And we have Sarala Ma who metalized the Vibhuti on Atma Murti in Ratsabha that she was there. She was simply able to see Vibhuti appearing all over the deity such a profound experience and simply she was in complete oneness. We have some more de devotees, Kela and Mahesh, who have experienced during puja on the yantras and different times they can experience such a beautiful experience when they experience oneness with Bhagavan. This is reality. All this is just starting to tell us that there's a consciousness which is more powerful than any other delusion that is being so profound for us. Now let's clean up our place and start the metallization. Completely wipe your um, table, your laptops, everywhere wipe out completely and uh, make sure you don't have any gold dust or in your hand in the around places. If you have Atma Murti or Padukas or a deity, keep the deity. And please make a video camera of the whole thing because you don't want to miss these ultimate moments of your life. These are the ultimate moments where you would have not noticed but your camera can really capture it. So if you could video record it, that would be the most beautiful thing. Let's get into the beautiful space of oneness. Let's sit straight with the head, neck and back in a straight line. Remember Bhagwan in your third eye. Again and again, when you remember Bhagwan, you raise the awareness to consciousness. So beautiful, the consciousness is not different from awareness. You are awareness, you are Paramashiva. You remembrance of Paramashiva in your third eye is Paramashiva. Again and again, bringing that awareness Simply Bhagwan, pure consciousness will reflect in your third eye and simply manifest any reality. We are always stuck in the Muladhara, Swadhishtana, again and again in the worry, delusion and confusion. Completely absolute unclutch. Thyaga, how these Nayanamars are so good, they know that Sarvapari Thyaga is the ultimate way to understand our space of reality. The Thyaga is not what we have. We don't have and we give away that which we don't have. The Maya matrix. Simply the screen will open and we see the ultimate reality. The Thyaga as Paramashiva is your only strength. Now declaring complete integrity with Bhagavan. Experiencing the ultimate oneness of the Darshan and Diksha that Bhagavan just initiated us into. And chanting the Mahavakya, continuously doing all this, will just dissolve the mind and bring the oneness space with Paramashiva. Chant continuously for 11 minutes now. We'll play the oneness capsule for 11 minutes. Chant loudly 
and intensely whole being vibrates with you chanting the maha vakya om nityananda parameshivoham let's start the power manifestation with the oneness capsule for 11 minutes please continue chanting and recording we'll play the oneness capsule ಪರಮಶಿವ overflow manifest the power in all of us that is om gyananda paramashivam om gyananda paramashivam ಓವರ್ಫ್ಲೋ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಪವರ್ 
in all of our third
Nityanandan Paramashivam Om Nityanandan Paramashivam Om Nityanandan Paramashivam Om Nityananda Paramashivam Om Nityananda Paramashivam Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eye. Let the Amrita pour, let the Vanni open up, manifest. In all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all of us. Third Om Nityananda Paramashivam Om Nityananda Paramashivam Om Nityananda Paramashivam Om Nityananda Paramashivam Such a beautiful experience of our manifestation. Let's have the bill persistence to again and again connect to the one in the oneness. If you're interested, the materialization excellent. If you're not interested, have the deep in connection. Ask the one. The kids don't know anything in person, they just ask the one. Bhagavan Swamiji, show me what I want to see. Show me the materialization happening. The thought is seen. And simply they have materialization happening. The simple integrity that we want, that which manifests as powers. We don't have to do any big prayer. It is just a request with Bhagavan. He is waiting to manifest to us. All we need to do is surrender all our self-doubt. Can I manifest? How can I manifest? I've never manifested. Oh, little also I've not seen anything. I don't know whether gold dust is appearing in my hand. I don't know whether it is seen properly. Put the um, light that you have in your cell phone and put it on your palm or in the places around you. You will simply see that gold dust slowly happening. And more and more the gold dust will become more profound and more real. And you'll see them, Duburi, Kunkum, all appearing. First, wipe out everything where everything happens. 
and then we'll start the second cycle. Take a picture of it, then wipe out everything, and then we'll start the second cycle. And simply you'll see it manifest again and again, hold the oneness space continuously. The balance ones will be entangling also and continuously hold the oneness space with Bhagwan and quantum entanglement. Bhagwan himself is waiting to manifest with each one of us showing the presence of Bhagwan by materializing his presence in you is now attested. Like how you get an uh, attestation of authorization on your letter, a stamp like that. All these beautiful experience is attested that you are Paramashiva. You can manifest all the power that Bhagwan can manifest. If Bhagwan gets a doubt what he would do, he'll simply say, my Guru can manifest, I can manifest. I can manifest whatever my Guru manifests. My Guru said, I am Paramashiva. So I am Paramashiva. Hold that only context. Whatever the mind troll, our troller is our mind, constantly giving us hate speech and diluting us and giving us self-doubt, all kinds of doubts and hatred and impossibility. So let's unclutch from that, continuously connect to Bhagwan, and remember Bhagwan again and again, third eye. The awareness is the medium where Bhagwan manifests as pure consciousness. Bring your awareness to your third eye again and again, whether you're doing any of the sessions, bring your awareness again and again to the third eye and be in the deep listening. Bhagwan will manifest all the reality just for you to show you that you are Paramashiva. So let's start with a deep feeling connection and will persistence that manifestation is happening. Hold that cognition very strongly. And let's start the second cycle with chanting Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. Paramashivoham, 
Thank you for participating. If your power man, power sorry, if your power manifestation in Parameshivo program, please go ahead with your next session. If you are part of social media, please go ahead and share the video recording or the picture that you have taken in tinyurl.com slash power manifestation. More and more when we start sharing the words that we utter is the consciousness we are living in. It becomes reality. We pull ourselves out of delusion and more and more we start understanding manifesting powers is the ultimate reality. And more and more when you cause others reality, you understand that the ultimate reality they are caused into bringing them to power manifestation, bringing them to Diksha Darshan of Bhagwan, you will be liberating yourself, expanding yourself more and more in the ultimate oneness. With that, let's surrender all this to Bhagwan's lotus feet, the power manifestation and powerful cognition. Again and again, when you experience any powerful cognition and power manifestation, go on surrendering your identity to Bhagwan's lotus feet which raises your reality again and again to the highest possibility and brings the clarity of what is delusion and what is reality. And feeling connection makes it simpler and faster, Bhagwan beautifully says. Let's remember that and request Bhagwan to make this as our existential reality. The feeling connection as our existential reality. So with that, let's visualize Bhagavan in your third eye and end the session with the Purna Mantra. Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purna Mudashyate Purnasya Purnamataya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Om Tat Sat Sarvam Bhagavate Sri Nityanda Parmashivam Padakarpanamastu Om Nityanandam Thank you Nityanandam. See you in the next Power Manifestation Session, Kailash Kotiyan Manifesting Power Session. Thank you Nityanandam.